So he says, I'm going to see how you treat something they can't talk back to. Adam looked at everything that God gave him dominion over and needed Prozac. No, he got depressed. He said, everything that I got authority over has a partner. What good is it if you to be powerful and not have nobody to share it with you? What good is it for you to walk in on this essence of glory? Y'all out here and keep going home by yourself. Oh, who am I talking to in this place? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, you don't come on, y'all. You don't be in church 24 hours a day. You ain't in ministry all day long. Y'all out here. You got some needs too. Y'all out here. You got the press. It is. But now, I'm depressed because I don't have nobody to share all this glory, this victory with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch this. He gives him dominion. The text says, over everything in his field. Y'all can see something. Let me say it on this side. I think that's a focus on here. He gives him dominion. Over everything. Watch this. This is the little linguistics of the text. In his field. I'm going to come back and get y'all. Y'all no, no, no short guys. He gives him dominion over everything. I'm just playing with y'all. You know I love y'all. Amen. He gives him dominion over everything in his field. The reason why some of y'all should be shouting, y'all not here, is because in your field, at your job, you're the low man on the totem pole. But God says after the night, within the next 24 hours, I'll give you dominion over everything in your field. In other words, your enemies are about to be your employees. Who am I talking? People that's over you, that man supervisor, y'all not here, that's trying to get you the good do it, y'all not here. Within the next 24 hours, some of y'all gonna be promoted. Let me go. He puts him to sleep. He puts him to sleep. And see, what God was trying to teach him with all of your authority. With your great big clergy column on your five pound cross. Y'all not here. What good is it? Watch this for you to be a public success but yet a private failure. So you post on Facebook this image that your life don't match. I'm not going to preach for some of these chunks. Y'all ain't here. On Facebook, they go, man, I got 3,000. And I get that they don't have three. <laughs> Five crown crosses, big red shiny robes on. Y'all not here. Y'all not here. Because all kinds like costumes. <laughs> they just some clowns. Jesus had 12 disciples. How you gonna call yourself a pop? Y'all not here. And you ain't got two. You need to surround yourself with people to make yourself feel important. Yeah. People always ask me, why do you mostly travel alone? Because I can't trust just anybody in my moment. I don't do no stupid stuff in my moment before I have to minister. Y'all ain't helping me up in here. People's life is at stake. And how in the world am I going to have these carnal conversations with you and come into the temple of God? and try to lay hands on folks and there's no impartation but there's transfer of the contamination that's stuck inside of me. I don't care which one of y'all been looking at me, y'all ain't here and wondering is he right, is he okay. Follow my sweet hips back to my hotel room, y'all here. See how I live when I'm not in the pulpit. Hallelujah. Because I turned down what most of y'all would fall for. Y'all ain't hearing me up in here. 
52 years old, y'all ain't here with me, and still pull them in their 20s if I want to. Y'all out here, hallelujah. Uh, yeah, I'm a bad boy. Y'all ain't coming me up in here. I still got it, y'all out here. Hallelujah, uh, you, you're a sad sack if you can't celebrate yourself. The Bible said David encouraged himself in the Lord. Real. 
you have what's called floating ribs, which are ribs that are unstable. Floating ribs will be with you today and gone tomorrow. Then you have what's called a true rib. Look at it on Wikipedia, that's what it's called. It's called a true rib. A true rib, watch this, is connected to your sternum, which covers your heart, and to your vertebrae, which is connected to your back. So your true rib is somebody who can cover your heart and have your back at the same time. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's why Solomon said in Proverbs, guard your heart with all diligence. For out of the heart floweth the issues of life. Out of the heart floweth the issues. So if a person steps to you and says they want your heart, then they must have an assignment for your issue. Y'all not here? In other words, you ain't gonna be scared to share your darkest, deepest secrets with them. Y'all not here? Because it ain't gonna blow them away. Yeah, they gonna be looking at you across the table talking, that's what you had to tell me for real? Y'all not here? Girl, you don't know what I've been through. Let me tell you. Because your real reader will have your heart's best interest and your back at the same time. Put this to Watch this, and I close. He goes to sleep one way. He goes to sleep needy. God, I'm prophesying now. I'm getting ready to take my seat. But when he wakes up, everything he needs is staring him in his face. Come on, Tonto, let's go home. Great words I see y'all tomorrow night. But I tell, I come to tell some of y'all, you're going to go to sleep one way. Uh, but when you wake up in the morning, uh, everything you need is going to be staring you in your face. Uh, shake your neighbor by the hand uh, and say, neighbor, uh, I don't want to do this by myself. Uh, but can you help me praise God? Uh,
Wait a minute, it's going to start with this person. I don't know why God gives me this. What did you, you say your son's name was Samuel? Samuel. Samuel in the Hebrew. In the, in the Western civilization, we read phonetically from left to right. But in the Eastern culture, they read from right to left. So if you read it from left to right, Psalm means here, who of, hell God. He's a hearer of God. He hears from God, even though he's not in his place. And he had, he had to be in isolation from the church for God to perfect his gift before he was fully saved. But remember, the Jews speak from right to left. That is the God of hearing. So God told me to tell you to rehearse the A clause of 1 John 5 and 14, that this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Not only does Samuel hear from God, but God told me to tell you that I'm apostle that God hears your prayer too. Y'all ain't hear me. I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. He says, I'm also going to bless I'm starting from the bottom to the top, and I'm blessing the one in your family. What I don't know what this means. I'm going out on a limb. God protecting in this, coming in this. I'm gonna do what you say. Watch this. The one that you named after one of the fruit of the spirit. Just a Korah. A Rayah is a seer. 